Morning guys. Today I'm loading out topsoil. We got a pile of topsoil here. Uh, I've actually done loaded a bunch out. It was higher than that all the way out to the excavator. But uh, that's what I'm working on today. We've actually already moved a bunch of dirt, but I'm gonna have to, I'll show y'all that later. Uh, okay, so here we are the next day. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, that the video I started with, uh, the battery went dead on my camera as soon as I started it. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm back up here gonna load some more of this topsoil. I'm sitting up on top of it. Dad, he's working on the road with the tractor. He's putting some gravel down. The dump truck was pumping uh, mud up through that construction entrance yesterday, even though there's fabric under. The fabric, I guess, ripped and, and uh, mud's coming up through it. So you can see I'm sitting on a ledge. It's about six or eight foot high here so I can see down in the trucks better. And then this here is up another, I don't know, it's about it's about 10 foot, I guess, up higher than, than where I'm sitting. And quite a bit of dirt here still yet to go. We hauled 74, 74 loads out yesterday. They're about 10 yard loads, approximately average, probably 10 yards. And uh, today, I mean, uh, the day before yesterday, we hauled six, 60 loads, so we've done haul quite a bit of quite a bit out of here. And, uh, it's supposed to rain today, so I don't know if we'll get to haul as much out today, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, so the first truck of the day is here. Actually. Actually, this guy rode with me over here and the truck was already here so this truck is a Western star that I'm loading and we just got it back yesterday it was in a it was in a, a, a accident and it's been over here at uh, Excel truck center getting repaired it knocked the front axle out from under it busted the hood it didn't hit the radiator or anything. It just it hit the right side. What happened was, is my dad was going to deliver a load of topsoil to somebody, I think in Hillsville, or Galax one. So he was heading uh, west on 58, and he got the law fork, and somebody pulled out uh, in front of him on the four lane from all the way across on the other side, of the, the opposite side of the four lane that he was on. And uh, they came across the first set of lanes and then he did, He was afraid they weren't gonna stop. So he, he start, hit the, tried, started trying to slow down. It's too late, they come right out in front of him. And uh, hit them and he hit them in their right rear quarter panel his truck hit on the uh, hit the dump truck hit on the right front wheel pushed broke all the the uh, bolts that holds the spring hangers and and all that pushed the axle back about two foot now nobody got hurt but uh, our truck has been down for I don't know at least a couple months I guess They couldn't find the hood for it. And they still never did find the hood for it. They finally just repaired the hood that's on it. We had to sign a waiver saying if the hood um, breaks or, or, or cracks, again, where it was broken at, we, we couldn't hold them responsible. But that was the only thing, the only way we could get the truck fixed. They wanted to total the whole truck because they couldn't find the hood for it. It's a really good truck. It runs. It's got a lot. It's, it's got good power. Drives good. It's just the right heights and everything for the type of work that we do. 
as far as loading with some ex small excavators and stuff. And uh, we really didn't want them to total it. Because then we had to find another truck to replace it with. Anyway, we just got it back, and that's actually the first load that it's been on it since it's uh, been fixed. So I guess we'll see how it does. Dad said it drives better than it used to. They run it through full alignment and everything. And they had a, a, an alignment machine they put the trucks on over there. <clears throat> so that's neat. Got to remember to click my counter. Got a little, got a little counter over here on tape to my joystick and uh, trying to keep up with how many loads we haul out. That's how I knew how many we hauled out yesterday. But uh, this is all topsoil and uh, it's actually really good topsoil. Come off this site and a whole eight acre site. We have to basically had to get rid, we're having to get rid of all of it. We may have to haul some back in when we get done to put behind the curb and stuff, but, but right now we just don't have room for it here. And uh, we're not gonna need a tremendous amount to bring back, so we're just hauling all of it off, get it out of the way so we can just get in here and do what we need to do. We've already moved a ton of dirt on this site. And actually, you may not can tell, but down there where the equipment's sitting is about six foot, seven foot lower. Actually, you can actually see the cut we did. Uh, that cut over there, I think, is about 10 foot. You can see it over there behind the equipment. That used to be uh, the same height as it is where I'm sitting, but we've dug all that down and there's a building that goes down there where the equipment is. We've got a lot of that building on grade already. And um, I have to show you when I get back to putting fill in, if it ever dries up again, um, I'll show you where we've been putting fill in. We've done put in about, uh, I don't know, I think it's about 12 foot down there on the lower side of the job we've already put in. And we've already got part of that end of the job on grade, but we gotta get uh, a wall built down there. It's a big retaining wall goes down there and uh, the wall contractor just has, they just have got one. And uh, you would have thought that they would have had that, <laughs> had a wall contractor to start with down there starting that wall, but they didn't even have the, have a contract with anybody to do it before we started grading. So uh, we had to leave like, what did we leave? 40 feet. We moved, we went back 40 feet from where the wall actually is before we started our field. So we still have a 40 foot wide area over to that wall once the wall is there. Uh, uh, just varying depths, anything from zero to like 15 foot of field we got to put against that uh, wall. So it's going to, still got a lot of dirt to take down there. But anyway can't take it down there until the wall's built. We still got a lot of dirt to move right here where, where this topsoil pile is. That's why we're trying to get it out of the way because basically the next thing we need to move is under this topsoil pile. But we put all the topsoil right here next to this construction entrance so we could haul it out while, while it was wet and we couldn't do anything else. That was our thinking there. Because we know in the wintertime things are going to get wet and it takes forever to dry them back out and then you can't drag mud out in the road, so the trucks need to be running on uh, on gravel. So that's why we put the uh, the topsoil up here, right next to the gravel, right next to the road. So, anyway, I'm waiting on another truck. I got me a bucket full of dirt, and I'm just kind of waiting. So we'll see y'all. All right, so here comes Michael in our new Mac, the truck that I still hadn't made a video on yet. You gotta be kind of careful on this first dipper 
or you'll jar the heck out of the truck. The problem is, is the dirt is so wet. It's kind of like an ice cream scoop. You know, once you dip the ice cream up and you try to dump it out, it all comes out in one big glob. You know, normally dirt will kind of flow. That that fucking dirt, uh, full right there was pretty good, but when you get in this wet stuff, it all comes out in one big chunk. Like that right there is pretty wet. If you're not careful, you'll jar the teeth out of the truck driver and then they're mad at you. <laughs> Especially on the first dip. But that truck is pretty nice. It's got an M drive in it, which is... Uh, it's a manual transmission, but it shifts automatically. There's no gear stick, no clutch pedal. But when you start giving the uh, rock, you start giving the truck fuel and going up the road, uh, it, it actually clutches. It has a air cylinder that clutches the truck, and then there's air shifters that shift the gears in the truck. The, the throttle, you just hold the throttle wide open or whatever whatever you're trying to do, however fast you're trying to go. And the truck will de-throttle, sh uh, clutch, shift gears, and then throttle back up for you. You don't have to do anything other than just drive the truck. And uh, there is a manual mode. You can put it in manual mode, shift the gears with, with buttons if you want. And uh, it's pretty slick. It's, it's a whole lot different than like an Allison automatic. It's, it, it's actually works better, I think, because you still have the positive engagement of a manual transmission. It just does all the shifting on its own. And the uh, tell you what, the Jake brake works extremely good on that truck. do a video on it. Uh, the last time I was in it, it had like 7,000 miles on it already. We got it. <coughs> when did we get that thing? We got here in January, I think. We almost had it. Here. Kind of slow this morning. I ain't done but five loads, but I ain't got but two trucks hauling. So, here comes another truck, finally. Been waiting on trucks, waiting on trucks, waiting on trucks. There's another truck gonna help us, the Steve Martin truck. So we'll go ahead and load that up. bench for me to sit on all the way down this uh, pile of dirt. So I'll work on that a little bit here. We're going to have four trucks here in a minute. This guy here brought another driver with him and we had a truck sitting here on the lot. He's gonna drive it.
old bed on.